Hi there! You're watching the tutorial on Brahms handle variations. My name is Erik Reichel and this is part 15. By now we have already seen several variation pairs such as 5 and 6, 7 and 8, 11 and 12. And the following variation 14 together with the one before, number 13, are also like brother and sister. Both are composed in the pseudo-Hungarian gypsy style. But let us first listen to the performance. Quite a tough one, I can tell. Especially the passage with the scale of trills, because at the same time, in the same hand, you have to play an additional note. The most obvious similarity to the sibling variation is the copious use of the sixth. In variation 13, in variation 14, but of course the character is very contrasting. The heavy minor mode of variation 13 versus the powerful and positive attitude of this variation. Even the key of D minor Brahms uses in the third and fourth bar doesn't sound sad, but rather flavors the harmonical architecture of that piece. The left hand is only accompanying almost throughout the whole variation. With the exception of one place, the before mentioned scale of trills. Here it changes to sort of a second voice. So why does he do this? Well, like always we need an enhancement of power and sound here to return to the beginning motive. But the trills in the right hand cannot support that need alone. So the crescendo, which is by the way not explicitly written here, should be carried out by a line in the left hand as well. Besides, it would be a little boring if the left hand stayed in the same style for an entire variation, wouldn't it? The energetic character of this variation will be carried on in the next variation, which I will talk about in the next episode. So I hope to see you again then, until next time and thank you very much. <laughs>